which is why there has been no videos about what I'm making for September. We have had too much on. We have done um, one week transitioning um, our little boy into a school and we've done a couple of days of cleaning the house from top to bottom and with my birthday coming up and we had a family party there has just been no time to make a video saying what I'm going to sew in September let alone actually sew something so I thought as I wanted to make a video so I thought what I would do is do a little video about what's in my sewing box that's my sewing box by the way if nobody had gathered so um I personally love this type of video. I'm a very nosy person, so the idea of seeing what else somebody else has in their sewing box is just brilliant to me. Um, but I do know that some people are like, why am I bothered? But I like it. And hopefully we'll um we'll find some goodies. Although it's not been cleaned out for about mm, probably about four or five months. So I don't know what we're gonna find. Hopefully it's not going to be too bad. So the box itself is, um, it doesn't close at the minute. It does usually close, but today it does not close. Is a, um, it's like, just like a little, um, it says constellation on the front. I don't exactly know what that means. But, um, yeah, it was my mum's. She had it when she was younger. And she says she used to put makeup in it, or um, she used to take it to sleepovers, apparently. And then I think it had baby clothes in for a while, and then I stole it. And it did house some of my vintage powder compact collection, and now it houses sewing stuff. So, it's got a nice lock on the front. This is the lid. I don't know if you can see the lid. I'm quite proud of the lid. Anyway, it's got a picture there. Um, there's like vintage, oh my god, vintage postcards and a picture of me and my brother and my sister, my little boy. And this come with my Tilly in the Buttons box. So yeah, it's got some good stuff in it. But I had to decorate the lid. That loves the decoration. Right, so first thing to come out is this little case uh, it was from home and bargains i think it was like under two pounds and it did have a sewing kit in it and the sewing kit was a bit meh but it's perfect for housing all of my screwdrivers which i do use quite regularly but i also used to lose quite regularly so now i have a little case to put them in and there's no excuse for not being able to clear out my machine the second thing is the case that my mum's glasses came in um, and that houses all of my little sharp things it's my little sharps box so it's got a multi-tool because you never know it's got um, my scissors that I wear when I'm sat in my sewing machine so I've always got a pair of little snips by me they're on a chain so I can wear them around my neck FYI, if you are going to wear scissors around your neck, hook them like this with the string through both bits. Otherwise, they can spread open, poke you in the boob. Top tip right there. Don't say I don't ever give you anything. These are my ones that I use for wool. They actually came with the little kit. They're on a ribbon as well. And then I have these ones which I bought off eBay, these are just my spare ones, a, um, a nail thing, I don't know why I was using this for sewing, but it's in here, and then I have, wow, five on pickers, I feel like I'm missing one as well if there's only five, but yes, hang on, oh god, I'm dropping stuff everywhere, five on pickers, this one is my favourite, and um, Ricky's nan got me this, one, Christmas or birthday, because I said my own picker had broken, so she bought me a new one. But I do have quite the little collection of them now. And a thimble. Which I don't use, because I never use a thimble. I don't know why it's even in there. I can't get on with them. 
I, I'll put one on and I'll think to myself, oh, a thimble. So, what next? Bit boring. Template for patchwork. Pin cushion in the shape of a Westy dog. Handmade, offs. A little needle book filled with safety pins for quilting. Another pin cushion. My mum actually has one of these as well. Uh, this one was my grandma's, but my mum's got one as well. And it says Silco on it. So I don't know if they were like free with a promotion or something. Um, but my mum's got one and my grandma had one. And I'm pretty sure my nan's got one as well. So yes, with all my pins, I'm a bit OCD about my pins. And after I sew, I don't know if this is focusing, I always put them around all of the edges i find it like a really nice way to relax after sewing so there you go there's a little insight into my mind um a hanky i don't know what the yellow is but it's on there this is what i use um instead of a oh god an organza cloth thing or whatever people use when they're ironing I just use a hanky because if it was good enough for mama it's good enough for me. Sell tape. My machine oil kindly given to me by my father-in-law uh, in a little ziploc bag because if you're going to keep your machine oil in your sewing box you need it in a ziploc bag. I learnt that the hard way. Tape measure. This one, I don't know where that one's from. Tape measure. This, that's where the yellows come from because this has leaked. This is my adding seam allowance tool. It is a felt tape pen and then a pencil and then another felt tape pen and they are all sellotaped together and you put the yellow one or the blue one on the edge of the pattern and then you just do that and it marks your seam allowance. Genuinely, this game changer right here scissors with ribbon on this is so um my partner knows that these are the scissors he is allowed to use he may use the scissors with the ribbon i don't know if it's working i hope it's working i have threatened him with dismemberment if i catch him cutting fabric uh, paper with my fabric scissors but yes these were actually my old fabric scissors. Fabric scissors. Fabric scissors. Pinking shears. Brilliant for um, instead of um, clipping your seams, I just use pinking shears because it's quicker. Ribbon that says handmade on it so I can label all of my makes. Rotary cutter. I desperately wanted one of these and then to be honest I don't really use it because I don't use it for dressmaking and I do sometimes use it for my um, for quilting but I always worry about cutting through my templates. Pen. Pin cushion that goes on the wrist. I think I made this when I was about 10 or 11 so that's holding up pretty well. <laughs> My grandmother's dressmaking scissors, still use these sometimes. My grandmother's pinking shears, um, these are so heavy. I should really give these to my sister because I know she really wanted a pair of pinking shears and I sort of bought myself a new pair because these don't really cut as well as they used to. Um, and I, like when I bought myself a pair I was like, oh, I could give these to Jeanette. And then she'll have a pair of pinky shears, but I don't know. I'm bizarrely attached to them. I don't know if it's because they were my grandma's or just because they feel old. I mean, I don't even use them, but I am. There's an attachment. I think maybe because when I first inherited all of her sewing stuff, this was one of the things that I used to use quite a lot was I used to pink pieces of fabric just for fun. Oh my god, there's something in my ear. It's okay, it's gone now. So yeah, 
Um, I probably should give them to her, but I don't think I will. So, sorry, Nettie, they're mine. More fabric scissors. These ones were given to me by a friend of mine at college because I always used to lose my scissors and she said I could not lose scissors with a flowery handle and I haven't done yet, so more scissors. More scissors for cutting paper. More scissors for cutting paper. Um, a voodoo doll pin cushion. Don't cross me. Uh, and then there's this, um, which contains. See, now this is stained. Oh, I put that through the wash. And um, this, which was given to me by my lovely pen friend, and contains lots of just different bits and pieces. This is usually the one that I get out when I start sewing because that's just everything's in here. So I usually get this out, put my uh, little scissors around my neck, grab a pin cushion and then get one pair of scissors. So in here we have another tape measure, a clip for doing hair. I was working with leather and I couldn't find any bulldogs clips so a hair clip does the same job. Um, a little needle book with machine needles in it and one with sewing needles in it. This was actually a free project from Patchwork and Quilting magazine and I made this one for me and then I made another one for my mum. Uh, a tin with more pins in it. The tin was my grandma's. The pins are a mixture. Buttonhole foot, because it doesn't fit in my little slidey outy bit of my machine. Marker pen. Pencil. Paintbrush. I use this for cleaning my machine to get like all the dust out and to put oil on. And to get like fluffy bits. Template for quilting. A guide for quilting. Never use this. Uh, my DIY extra long spindle for my sewing machine so I could use my big cones. Now I just chuck them in a mug behind the machine. A clean mug, not like a dirty mug, but like a clean mug and then just thread it through. But I was using this for a while but they like tilted and they used to like jump off so stopped using it. Oh my god. Um, more pencils and a paintbrush and another clip. <gasps> wax for thread. Taylor's wax. Is it called Taylor's wax? Bees wax. Taylor's wax. Wax. Um, my grandma actually had one of these in her sewing box. And I was quite young when I inherited everything and I thought that it was Taylor's chalk that had like gone off and I couldn't work out how you'd use it to mark fabric and I couldn't work out why it was in like a stupid little case. So um, I binned it and then started reading blogs about three years later and was like, oh my god, that's what it is and had to buy myself another one. A little bit gutted to be honest. Knew I should have just kept it. But yes. This is brilliant. If you want a smooth hand sewing experience, this is the stuff. Double sided sticky tape. The big paper clips that come in um, like Christmas crackers. Uh, these are from Christmas crackers. These are very good if you're quilting and you want to like put all your fabric together. That's what I use them for anyway, or keeping your blocks together. Another tape measure. Random piece of fabric. A um it's it came with Love Patchwork and Quilting magazine. It's for like poking corners out and for like finger pressing. It's quite good actually, it's quite heavy, but it's quite good. I was very impressed with it. I didn't think I was gonna use it and then I do tend to use it. A um Oh, I can't think what it's called. It's for like tracing with carbon paper. It's a tracing wheel. Apart from mine isn't actually a tracing wheel. Um, 
we went out one day and saw some beautiful corsets in a window of a shop and oh my god this is so embarrassing and was like I was like oh my god I love that corset I can I have it and Ricky was like gosh can anyway we went in and not only did they have corsets and high heels and like lingerie they also had a very small display of sex toys and as we're like walking past I was like oh my god a tracing wheel and the woman was like actually it's like a little torture device and I was like no it's a tracing wheel and she was like no it's a torture device anyway I looked and it was like a pound and I was like oh my god that's so much cheaper than buying an actual tracing wheel from like Hobbycraft so we bought it <laughs> So this is my dirty little secret in my um, in my sewing box. I also got the corset as well, but I'm not going to show you that. Um, another pencil, a seam allowance tool, so you can mark seam allowances. Uh, this one's for tracing with carbon paper. A little roller from Fitzpatrick, where my dad used to work. He used to bring me home stationery a lot. My little I, 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 I do I? I don't know how you say that. But it's got pins in it, and that came out of my grandmother's sewing box as well. Um, it's got hand sewing needles and machine needles in it, and a little case with needles in it. And a halfpenny. Because apparently, if you've got a penny in with your pins, you don't prick your finger. So if you put a penny in with them and you stop pricking your fingers, you can thank me. Um, a broken... Oh! It's got a little light on it. That's why it's still in there. So this is quite good if you are like cleaning out your machine or something. If you've got a little tiny light that you can just shine in just to make sure you've got all the fluff and bits of dirt out. Brilliant. It was on a pen, but obviously the pen is no more. Oh, and then just a ruler and a rubber. A ruler and a rubber. A pen and a rubber. And some stray pins and stuff that I'm pretty much sure I'm going to damage myself on at some point. Oh my god, my box is nearly empty. Um, patchwork templates. These ones were from Love Patchwork and Quilting. They went for a phase of giving like... This is going to sound awful. I've given like pretty crappy gifts with the magazine. But we have had a run of really good ones. So we've had this this week. And then we've also had. um, Oh. Okay. Yep. Sorry. Everything's behind me. And then we had these this week. So these are like bias binding clips for when you quilt them. So yes. Thank you Love Patchwork and Quilting for upping your game again. Um. My broken hair bobble, story of my life. My handmade tailor's ham. I made one for me and one for my sister. Yeah, this, I was going to say something about it, but there's not really much to say. Basically, I, you make a phallic shape and then you stuff it and then you use it for ironing instead of paying like 14 quid for one. So, yeah. Um... More snips. These were from Home and Bargains. They were a bargain and they're really good. These actually need to be in my sharps box. Uh, a uh, bobbin from my vintage singer. Um, I think this is because my vintage singer case exploded last week. So that's in there. A little tub of chalk with a stray bit of cellar tape. A, um, do you know what? If anybody can tell me what this is, that'd be cracking. It's like a bendy thing, and it came with my grandmother's stuff, and it's bendy, and it's just sort of in there. But I'm not really. I don't know what it's for. And then this is my absolute favourite thing that's in my box. Oh my god, my box just fell off the chair.
you know, all the stray pins that get in the bottom that are all over my carpet now. Oh, I'm gonna have to hoover. So this is my absolute favourite thing. These are my pattern weights that me and my little boy made. Oh my god, this one's squishy. I don't feel like it should be. That me and my little boy made out of salt there. And um, yeah, and we made them and he cut them all out for me. They're various shapes. And they're various levels of beauty. That one's got fluff on it various levels of beauty and I backed them all with felt to make sure that they wouldn't snag on my fabric and he painted them and he sprinkled them with glitter so they are my favourite things and they're actually pretty good so I'm going to get him to make me some more oh and they're in a rope bowl that I made just to keep them tidy so that's it really it feels like it's a lot of stuff to have in one sewing box um but yeah, I hope you enjoyed taking a look at what's in my sewing box. I am not going to enjoy putting everything back in my sewing box. <coughs> I'm not sure it's going to fit. I'm sorry that my phone keeps buzzing. I um, made the mistake of commenting on somebody's Facebook status this morning and it's just whoo. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed my video. If you did, thumbs up, please. And um yeah subscribe if you want to see more videos and if there's any videos that you would like me to make please let me know Bye.